Okay, hi everybody. My name is Jennifer. I'm with Next Level Guitar. And we decided we've had a lot of requests for some acoustic guitar rhythm um, chord things. So we've got a nice one for you. And this is um, this is kind of beginner intermediate level. It We are, you know, a lot of it is basic open chords, but we're also going to do some bar chords and some up picking. So if you're a beginner, you've been checking out the website and you've been practicing the stuff and you're ready to move on, this is a really good one for you. Okay, so it sounds like this. Okay, it's in the key of A minor. So we've got the A minor chord. And then we're going to do these bar chords. We're going to do the F bar chord. And then we're going to go to the open C, which you may already know. And then we're going to do the G bar chord. Okay, you could, you could also play that in an open chord position. But right now we're going to practice using these bar chords so that we can build up our finger strength and use more bar chords in the future. You shouldn't be afraid of bar chords. You know, start learning them and start using them and get used to them because you're going to be wanting to use them later on in the future. Okay, so let me just break it down for you. I'm going to begin by showing you the rhythm. If you don't know how to play the chords already, the A minor, the C, the G, or the F, and the G bar chords, you could just go to the website, nextlevelguitar.com, and go to the link where there's the chords, and you can they'll break down each chord for you so you can show where, where to place your fingers and what the chord pattern is. So go ahead and do that, and then once you've got those chords, you know where to put your fingers, come back and we'll do this. Just to learn the right hand picking technique, a lot of people find that it's easier when you're learning a slightly complicated picking technique to not worry about the chords on your left hand because you don't, you don't want that to disrupt what you're learning on your right hand. You want to focus right now on your right hand. So instead of playing any chords, I'm just going to lay my hand across the guitar strings with my left hand and I'm going to play the picking pattern for you. Um, real slow and then I'll talk to you about what I'm doing and I want you to practice along with me. So the pattern itself is you're going to pick down, down twice, down, 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 up, down, 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 up, down, 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 up, down. Okay, and you don't want it, you want to leave your wrist kind of um, loose. Okay, you don't want to get real tight. It's not real, you know, choppy picking. It's very fluid and smooth. So you want your, your wrist loose and your arm kind of loose, but you want to maintain enough control where you don't hit the wrong notes that you don't want to play. Like when you're playing an A minor chord, you don't want to hit that low E. So you want to make sure you know where your pick hand is going up and down so you don't go too far and hit that bad string. But at the same time, you want to leave it loose enough so that you get a nice fluid movement going. So let's just do it together without playing a chord. We're going to go down, 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 up, down, 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 up, down. Let's try that. Ready? One, two, three, four. Down, 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 up, down, 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 up, down. Down, down, up, down. One more time. Down, down, up, down. All right, good job. Let's talk about our um, move, putting our left hand into this now and, and using our chords. We've already learned the picking pattern. So what pattern do we use and when do we switch chords? So let's just start on our A chord and we do this little pattern, this down, down, down. Now while we've got, we're holding our pick there, now we switch chords. Place your, go to your next chord, your F, and then we hit the F on the down again. Okay, so we start the pith, picking pattern over again. Down, 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 up. Now it's time to change chords again. Go to your C. Down, 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 up, and then to your G. Then go down. Down. See how that works? So we're just repeating that down, 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 up, and then we change chords, and then we start it all over again. Down, 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 up. So we use that same picking pattern 
on each chord, and each chord starts with the down, okay? All right, so you've got the major um, building blocks to play this little chord progression. So let's just take it now and put it all together, and you could play along with me. So I'm just going to play this pattern like three or four times, and I'll do it real slow, and you could play it with me with the same picking pattern we just learned. Okay, so here we go, starting on the A minor. One, two, three, four. Good job, everybody. I hope you found some useful um, techniques in this lesson, and you're building up your rhythm playing with your right hand, and you're learning some bar chords with your left hand. So keep practicing, and we'll see you on the next lesson. So keep practicing. Check out nextlevelguitar.com, and I'll see you next time. <laughs>